everybody Ann here, sitting here in the tiny house, having my coffee with all of you. And it is sunny outside. Right now, the sun is coming in, and that's what I need. I need to be in the sunshine, so I'm going to spend a lot of time outdoors today. Um, let's see, yesterday, I think I showed you that I only got two eggs. Well, later on in the day, um, all of the rest of the chickens laid eggs. So basically, I am still getting six eggs every single day, and that just oh, makes me feel so wonderful. So Cody and Hannah came over yesterday. I gave them one 18-pack carton of eggs and one dozen carton of eggs for Hannah's parents. Um, and so when Cody came over, he says, do you need a propane tank? Because, you know, they moved out of their trailer and they're getting rid of their trailer. And I'm like, well, you know, <laughs> more propane tanks are great. And he says, you just got those little bitty ones? And yeah, I got the 20 pound, I've got two 20 pound ones. Well, he says, I have a propane tank on my trailer that you can have, and it's filled with propane. So we went over and uh, got it, got it from his camper. I got to meet Hannah's dad while I was there, and he gave me something awesome. His whole yard is like a treasure trove of stuff that's like, you know, I'm like, oh, just, just don't throw anything out. Let me come over and look and see if it's something I can use. I already found a couple other things um, that I can use that are over there. Once it thaws out, I'm going to, I'm going to go over with my wagon <laughs> and anything he just absolutely is just going to throw away. Um, and I promise them eggs forever because I'm going to have an abundance of eggs. Um, but he gave me something really awesome. Hannah's, Hannah's dad. Um, I think it's, is it Michael? <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, my memory is so bad about names. I've always had a uh, bad memory with names. Um, he gave me something really awesome and I'm going to show you what it is when I go outside a little bit later, but yeah, I haven't checked the chickens. I got to check the chickens, make sure their water isn't frozen. It probably is, but it's going to be in the fifties today. So I, I don't know necessarily if I'll get any real projects done, but, um, I'm going to be outside all day today, no matter what. <laughs> Can you hear him in there? They're making all kinds of noise. I bet you I'll at least have a couple eggs. Let's see what you crazy chickens are up to today. Good morning. Good morning. We got all of them out here. I spread around some oats and some sunflower seeds and some dead minnows. They're happy to be out of the van. All right, let's see how many eggs. Oh my goodness. No eggs yet this morning. What's up with that? Well, we got one little lady over there. Maybe she'll give me an egg soon. I gotta scrape off chicken poop. Yuck. And here is the beautiful propane tank that Cody gave me. It is full with propane, 40 pound. So this is a lifesaver. Has the same, you know, nozzle thing that I got for my hose. So this is gonna be great. But look at this, you guys. Would you look at that sink? I've put it right here to let the rain wash it. See, it's dripping down from right up there. <laughs> Some of it's crashing down. I might go ahead and just empty a bunch of ice in there and just let it clean out naturally. But look, it's great. I've got the little screws that I need and it's a good size. So another project will be cutting a hole in either the cabinet or the table. Oh, I bet you somebody just laid an egg. But look at that. It's perfect. It's in great condition. <laughs> Come on, chickens. I'm trying to make a video here. Uh, Hannah's dad just let me have it. So, yeah, free eggs for life, man. Okay. Either somebody just laid an egg or somebody's about to lay an egg. So, I got to learn these sounds. Sometimes it sounds like they're in distress, but, all right, Papa, you stay. Stay there, Papa. See, he, he could certainly jump over this, but he can jump over the fence either way. Sorry, I'm panning too fast. All right, somebody lay an egg? Did somebody lay an egg for me? No. All right, I'm going to leave you girls alone. You've got the situation under control. 
Somebody will lay me an egg, okay? <laughs> Listen to that. You gonna lay an egg, chicken? You do it. All right, let's see if I can get water to come out of here. I just... It must be frozen. I bet you the hose frozen because I'm getting a little dripping right there. I could probably get it to stop doing that by just, I don't know if I'm even shooting this right. Uh, tightening that a little bit. It's trying to come out. Let me mess with it a little bit. Look guys, it's coming out. It's working. Yep, and I think just a little bit longer in the sunshine that it's going to come a lot faster. Look at that. It's working just fine. Oh, I'm going to get some water. Yep, it's filling up pretty good. There's a little bit of schmung in there, but I'm gonna filter that out in my homemade filter before I bring it inside. And over here, yep, this little part is leaking. I don't think I can fix that, but that's okay. I've got another hose after I'm done here. I'll just replace it. See that? I am gonna filter it all. I'm gonna fill this big, beautiful blue thing up. Yeah, I couldn't get the crate underneath of it and just put that on top because the top of this would go up to the insulation and I didn't want to get the insulation wet. So I'll have to lift this big blue tank, but that's okay. I can do it. So, yep, we're going to spend the day. It's going to go slow because this, I kept it outside and it's still kind of frozen, I think. So until it defrosts, it's going to take a long time. But yeah, so that, I mean, technically I could drink the water that comes out of that. Um, but mainly use it for washing and cooking and stuff like that. And I'll just keep the Berkey filled up with, uh, you know, transfer it from the blue tub to the Berkey. And I will have plenty of clean, fresh water. Yeah, and you know what? I know there's a little particulate in it coming out of the bottom of that big 300-gallon tote. But that's to be expected. Um, but otherwise, the water is very, very clear. There's no greenish tint. There's no orangish tint. Doesn't look like there's any algae. I wouldn't drink it straight out of the tank, but it looks pretty gosh darn clean. It is beautiful outside, you guys. The sun, oh my gosh, it just makes me feel so much better. So I'm taking a little break. I'm going to finish my coffee. I haven't even finished my coffee yet. Um, I'll have to keep putting water in that filter and get it all filtered. Um, I'm going to clean that sink up and I don't know. I almost wish I hadn't started the water filter anything because I'd actually kind of find... I can't talk. I'd actually kind of like to find a way to install that sink. And um, I don't know because I don't want to cut a hole in that dresser thing, you know, that's got all my canned goods that has a little curtains. But I've got that table over there. Um, I don't know if there's something I could do with that. It's just one of those plastic folding tables. If I could cut a hole in that or maybe put that long piece of wood over it and... I don't know. Hmm. <laughs> I've got some ideas. So that sink is going to be great. The big sink, once I get the little sink, the big sink is going to come back outside. Um, it's going to capture rainwater and I'm going to do my la laundry in it. Yep, I had it right off my front porch. So I don't even care. It's fine there. Um, so that's that, that uh, sink is great, but it's just so big. And I need all the space I can get inside that tiny house. So... <sighs> Those chickens. <laughs> I, I think I'm going to have at least a couple eggs today. I don't think I'll get six again today, but um, we're just going to have to wait and see. Um, I've got so many eggs, and I need to pickle eggs. And Well, good morning to you, too, Romeo. Uh, so, anyhow, I'm just going to take my little break and see what else I get done today. I just feel great. It's just... I mean, it's like light at the end of the tunnel. You know what I mean? This sunshine and the fact that I can access my water. Whew, big relief. Oh my gosh, look at this. One, two, three, four. They're all in there. They all want to, they all want to lay at the same time. Oh my gosh, this is a first. All right, ladies, I'll leave you alone. Oh, well, looks like everybody's out. Yup. One, two, three, four, five, six. Guess it's time to go check for eggs. I got five. I may get one more of the white ones. I don't know. Um, I think I got a leghorn egg really late last night. So five is super great. Finally, it's starting to filter. Man, it took several hours. And for this to kind of defrost on the inside, 
but it's filtering just fine now. So it's noon. I figure I'll have this filled by, mm, I don't know, I'm thinking 3 p.m. It's been a great day so far, a really great day. Just a few more days. On Wednesday, I take Papa to the vet. He gets his tests, blood tests and x-rays, and they, I don't know, take it from there. Um, so that's going to happen Wednesday, and I know the roads are going to be just fine because we're going to get a couple more really warm days before then. So I'm happy, and I got water. I am going to filter as much water as I possibly can. So, you know, I've, I'm stocked up a little bit. I need to be more stocked up than I was. Um, so, you know what? I think that that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.